Welcome back to this tutorial series introducing you to projection mapping in Resolume. Resolume comes with a handful of inbuilt generators. You can find them listed in the Sources tab of the directory. When combined with all of Resolume's effects, you'd be surprised how many interesting looks you can create right out of the box. We're going to walk through how to make a handful of clips purely using the free generators. These will be visual content that might be appropriate for something like a wedding. Go to the Sources tab in the browser and find Checkered. Swivel down the arrow to reveal any presets Resolume has provided for that source, in this case just one. Drag Domar either into the Clip Properties panel or to an empty clip slot and trigger it. The idea is to try to get these checker tiles to match up with the tiers of the cake. Your settings will be different to mine to fit your cake, but experiment to try and get something that looks good. It will be a combination of getting into the right ballpark with the number of tiles in X and Y. For me, it's two in X and eight in Y. And then fine tuning using the scale and Y position down here under transform. If you swivel down the scale, you can adjust height and width scale separately. If you hold Alt or Option while dragging, you can move in smaller increments, or you can enter a value manually. One notable feature missing from Resolume at this time is an undo function, so be mindful when making changes. Change position Y until it looks right by clicking on the plus and minus icons to move up or down by one pixel. You can also click and drag to make changes. Again, you can hold Alt while you drag to make changes in small increments. This looks good enough for my purposes. Change the colour to whatever you prefer. We could introduce some colour change by searching for Hue Rotation in the Effects Browser. Drag it onto the Clip Properties panel. This Hue Rotate slider lets you shift the colours through the colour spectrum. We could animate this parameter so that the colour is constantly shifting. Click on the little arrow beside the Hue Rotate parameter and select Timeline. This animates the value to start at the left when the clip begins and end on the right when the clip ends. The clip will now continuously shift through the colours. Search for Stripper in the Effects Browser and drag the Invert Strips preset onto the Clip Properties panel. This inverts the colour with animated strips. I'm going to slow it down a little. This has added even more interesting variation to our clip. If at any time you want to temporarily disable an effect, you can hit B for bypass on the effect. You can delete an effect using the X. If you've set the parameters in a way you really like and want to save them as a preset, you can click the P and save it under a name of your choosing. This can save you time in the future by being accessible from the preset dropdown. The preset will also appear under the effect name in the browser and can be dragged into the panel just like any other effect. Let's make another clip. From the sources, drag lines to an empty clip slot. Drag the fuzziness down to zero. Add more lines. Reduce the width and give it a pleasing colour. Animate the lines rotation to timeline and slow the speed. Now we'll add one of Resolume's most popular effects, Kaleidoscope. It's a favourite because it very quickly can produce some varied patterns that are symmetrical and therefore usually visually pleasing. 
Increase the zoom to 1 and play with the angles and rotation until you get a look you want. If we alt drag on the text label of the clip slot and drag it to another slot to duplicate it and then trigger it, we can see how layering these clips can look interesting too once we've changed the colour and or the angle and rotation. Or we could change the colour to black and set the layer to multiply to create another interesting look. Alt drag the kaleidoscope clip to an empty space to duplicate it and let's add some effects on top of this one to create another look. Locate Metashape in the Effects Browser. Set both shapes to Circle and the mode to Fill. Reduce the number of lines to 6. A note about the priority of effects stacked in any properties panel. Priority goes from top to bottom, i.e. in this instance any transform is applied before the kaleidoscope and meta shape. I want to scale these circles so they fit better inside the cake tiers. Therefore I want to change this order and have all the other effects apply before transform. I can reorder them in the stack by clicking on the effects handle, represented by the icon with the three horizontal lines, and dragging transform to the bottom. Now I can play with the scale and X and Y position until I'm happy with the way the circle fits inside the surfaces. Let's create a clip using another one of Resolume's generative sources, Linescape. Set the tilt to 90 and the position Y all the way up to 35. Change its direction a little. Lower the speed to 0.01 and put the height to its maximum at 23. Give it a wobble of 0.1 and slightly more attenuation. I will increase my line width to something like 1.25 and unselect Show Knots. Now add the dot screen effect. And lower the scale to 0.3. Let's duplicate the clip we just made from the linescape. Delete the dot screen effect and apply another one. Find Benderscope in the browser and drag it onto your clip to get another interesting look.
Resolume has some nice particle effects, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. First, let's create a shape using a shaper source. Set shape 1's type to triangle and make the size much smaller. Give it a colour and drag its outline to zero. Now apply a fountain preset of the particle system effect. Increase the particles to something closer to 150 and lower their lifetime. Lower the opacity delta. Duplicate this clip and remove the particle system. Add the random preset of the particle system instead. Now add a stingy sphere effect below the particle system. Increase the sphere size and extrusion to 1. Add a little zoom. Change the shape type inside the shaper from triangle to circle and reduce its size to 0 0.04. In the stingy sphere, animate the Y rotation to timeline and turn the animation speed right down. Now you've created an interesting focal object. For our last example, let's duplicate our shape object again and remove the particle system and the stingy sphere effects. Change the shape from a circle to a triangle. Rotate it and position it centrally on the cake in Y. Add the sparkles effect. If we change the size of shape 1, we can see what's happening. The particles are being emitted from our triangle. I want to animate the triangle to become larger and smaller, so I animate the size and set it to timeline. However, I don't want it to grow large and then snap back to being zero again. I want it to grow and then shrink and then grow and then shrink continuously. I do this by changing the animation from loop to bounce by selecting this double-headed arrow. One thing I don't like is how the triangle grows too big for the cake. Therefore, I want to limit the size it grows to before bouncing back. I do that by finding the maximum size I'd like the triangle to get to then dragging this end bracket to that point. Do a little of this at the beginning too so the triangle doesn't shrink to nothing. Now when I play the animation, it stays within the bounds of the cake. I'll slow the animation a little. I also want the animation to feel more organic and gentle. So I go to envelope and change the curve from linear to sine in out. Although I want the triangle to emit the particles, I don't want to see the triangle so I uncheck Show Image. Change the particle colour. I'll make the particles a little bigger, generate fewer of them and give them slightly more spread. So far we've only applied effects to clips, but effects can be applied in three ways. To a composition, to a layer, or to a clip. 
Effects applied to a composition will show across everything. When applied to a layer, effects will only display on clips within that layer. For example, I'd like to apply a vignette around the cake to make my video content nice and soft around the edges. At first I think I'll only want to have it apply to the clips on layer 1. So, with the layers panel open, find vignette in the effects and apply it to the panel. Here it is at the bottom. I'll reduce the size and increase the softness until I'm happy. Now it applies to layer 1 clips, but not to layer 2. But say I change my mind and I decide I want it to apply across everything. In that case, I'd move the effect by dragging the handle to the composition panel instead. Now I've created my wedding visuals. I can save them as a composition. They will be listed in the Composition tab in the browser for quick access. If I create a new composition, I can load my created clips as a new deck. These clips we've made can be combined with content you've made yourself or bought giving you near endless possibilities for making the cake visually engaging. Have you got any favourite effects you love to use in Resolume? Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments down below. If this video helped you, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe to stay up to date with more cake mapping and projection mapping tutorials and videos.